What's up, everybody? This is Napalm Jed Johnson. They call me the King of Pinch because I'm the King of Pinch. I got a question, actually two different questions from Jacked Jones on one of my videos recently. And I'm going to go ahead and knock these two questions out right now. So first, he wants to know how long my rest periods are on pinch and when training grippers. That's a real easy answer right there. I have no idea how long they are. I don't rush. I, I don't track the time periods. I take as much time as I need to in order to be ready to go. And sometimes I know that I need more time than on other days. So let's say I'm trying to do something like, uh, well, here's a good example. When I was training to lift the old school Yorks, I was not giving myself enough rest time. And when I started taking like five to eight minutes between attempts, I saw a lot better results and I ended up performing the double old school York feat. So I realized I needed more time and I took it and then it worked. Now that is feating. That's trying to pull off a feat. In training, if you're doing training, you're just hitting your uh, five sets of five or three sets of 10 or whatever you're doing for your grip, then probably your rest period is going to be a little bit shorter because you're not trying to pull off some miraculous lift. You're just trying to get your work in. So it's probably a little bit shorter. Um, same with grippers. Uh, who trains those anymore? Anyway, I, who the hell uses grippers? Um, the other question was, he said he has small hands, like seven and three quarters. That's right on the verge of like small and big, by the way. That's like average. And he wants to know, since grippers are hard for him with his hand size, would it be better to just go with IM tugs? Man, I, I have like two IM tugs that are collecting rust somewhere. I don't know where they are. I haven't used them in I don't know how long. So no, I wouldn't recommend going to IM tugs. What I would recommend is making sure that your set is right by either watching one of my uh, my set video here on YouTube or getting my DVD crush and going through all the technique stuff that's there. So that's what you want to do. Um, and then what you may need to do since your hands are smaller is buy in-between grippers from other companies so that you don't have to go from a one to one and a half to two and a half then all of a sudden a three and three and a half. Um, those are actually really big jumps between grippers. And there are grippers out there that will uh, be suitable uh, bridge grippers in between those. You just got to find them. All right, everybody. I hope that's been helpful. If it was, then give it one of these, dude. One, look at, oh my Lord. Would you just look? That is a thumb and a half. So give this video a thumb and a half, brother. All the best in your training. Subscribe while you're at it. And if you got any other, any other questions, leave a comment below. See ya.